Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Kmart. How y'all doing? Uh, we got some Swain rework here. Um, it's pretty awesome compared to before um, what I've seen. Uh, so, Swain is the visionary ruler of the Noxian Empire, commanding its war hosts from the front lines. Though he was cripple crippled in the Ionian Wars, because uh, he had the cane, you know, walking around with the cane, Swain seized control of Noxus with ruthless determination and a new demonic hand. Now the gen Grand General marches against a coming darkness that only he can see. Okay, so this is his passive, um, Ravenous Flock. So, Swain can periodically right-click any nearby immobilized enemy champion to rip out a soul fragment, damaging and pulling them toward him. Okay, so, if we look here, uh, when they die, um, he gets health off of it, and that's his, uh, his, uh, passive meter. Um, enemy champions leave behind a soul fragment when they die, which is what just happened, flock, and then fragments, he heals off of the fragments of them dying, or him ripping this, the fragment out of them off his Q. Okay, and then Q is death's hand. Uh, Swain unre unleashes several bolts of eldritch power in front of him, each damaging the first enemy struck. Enemies can intercept multiple bolts, but only take full damage from the first. Bolts pierce through units they kill, restoring a portion of Swain's mana. So, basically, enemies can intercept uh, more than bolts. I'm not exactly sure, because if, if you look here, it's like it shows it's more... I mean, maybe it's just he's that close and aiming. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, that's, that's his Q. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's, it seems, I don't know, like, compared to old Swain, it's just, it's, this is really weird. Okay, so, as Swain, you're a, uh, oh, this is playing as Swain, no, okay, so we want to go here. Uh, this is W, Swain op opens a demonic eye at a targeted location, damaging and slowing all enemies in the area after a moderate delay. Vision of Empire deals extra damage to champions caught in the explosion, kind of like, Jin E, or passive, reveals them and grants Swain a soul fragment for each champion hit. Okay, so every champion that's hit with his W, he also gets a soul fragment. Yeah, so you got three. Uh, it doesn't show how much they're slowed for, but I think it's cool that he gets soul fragments off of like pretty much all his abilities, I think, except maybe this one. Yeah, his E. His E is CC. Uh, Swain projects his de demonic hand forward, damaging all enemies in its path. The hand returns to Swain and explodes on the first enemy hit, damaging and rooting all enemies caught in the blast. See, so that, that's actually kind of weird because uh, that didn't root Galio. It just it's the first one coming back, I think, or something. I don't know. It, it looks pretty weird. <laughs> All right, and then R his demonic ex ascension. Swain gains a large amount of health on cast, which is pretty nice, and drains life from nearby nearby uh life from several nearby champions, uh or enemies, but prioritizing champions, of course. So he could still R minions and stuff. Uh, when Demonic Ascension ends, Swain consumes his soul fragments to cast Demon Flare, a nova of energy that damages the closest enemies around him. Uh, so he uses his soul fragments to cast uh, another part of his ultimate that uh, has a nova of energy that damages the closest enemies around him. And then Demon's Flare damages increase for each soul fragment consumed. So if you get, you know, three off of your W from a team fight, and then you get one from your Q, or yeah, 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 one from your Q, and then you get, and then you auto just an immobilized champion, you'll have five, which is your max, and then you can hit ult, and then you can do a lot of damage with it, basically. And then uh, after draining enough health, uh, he can recast. Uh, demonic ascension or, or end it whatever uh, to cast demon flare on demand which would be the yes the um the burst okay so that's just him gaining health and then he's just that I think that's a stack of demon flare or no 
And then right there. Okay, so it's the large AoE. Let's see that one more time. So he's like half health, and then he gains about like 25% of his health. And then he only casts Diva Flare once right there. But he only used one charge. Let's see. Okay, so he has one charge the entire time. And he does. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to use other abilities while in this state. I mean, you should be able to, just like old Swain. So. So yeah, that thing could actually do quite a bit of damage if you have all five of your stacks up. Alright, and then uh, uh, Swain, uh, you're a war warlock general who seizes the, seizes the life and souls of enemies on the battlefield. Stay five steps ahead of the of opposition with Nevermore and Vision of Empire. So Nevermore is your E, which is your uh, CC, and then Vision of Empire is your W, and that's the all a slow... Okay, and then uh, clipping the wings of your foes as you route them out of position. With your plan set in motion, head to the front and wreak havoc with Death's Hand. Then shrug off any counteroffensive using Demonic Ascension's Health Drain. Once you've brought enemies low, devastate their formation with Demon Flare and claim victory for Noxus. Okay, so this is cool. So he uh, hits a Q, I'm pretty sure, and then he misses his W. Quite a... I'm pretty sure there's more range on that early game, maybe. And then he just casts ult right here, and then he, right here he hits E, gets him, and then right here you see the Q, and then he recasted R to kill K Kane. Hmm, pretty interesting. Okay, and then here he hits E first, and then R's, and then he W's right there. He Q's right there to end him. And then, so he could still, he, during this entire time, he could have casted his, yeah, right there. He cast, he, he uh, ended his ultimate, which did quite a bit of damage to Mumumu. So, pretty interesting. Okay, so, uh, his ult's uh, lengthy duration and the short cooldown on his Q lend themselves towards the longer battle Swain loves. But he has trouble sticking to enemies as fights drag on. Master Swain players should opt into runes or items that offset this weakness. It's, see, it's trying to give you a hint here, but like I'm trying to figure out what that hint would be, right? Um, so uh, when the fight goes on, it okay. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, okay, Vision of Empire's extreme cast range at his W grants you influence over a huge portion of the map. Look for chances to gank for off-screen teammates. <laughs> Track to the enemy jungler or scout unwarded objectives. That's funny how it's like hinting jungle or something, but uh, Swain's obviously still top and mid probs. Uh, ravenous flock can grab enemy champs mobilized by any effect, not just Swain's. Okay, so that is his E, his uh, his grab, yeah, his his root. Can grab enemy champs immobilized by any effect. So, um, that means that he, he, Swain can still root them, I'm guessing. That's kind of... That's, I don't really know exactly what that means. Work with your allies. You'll often find better targets by following up on their lockdown rather than trying to set up plays by yourself. That doesn't sound like something Swain would do, though, right? Okay, so... Oh, Ravenous Flock is his passive. Yeah, so whenever someone CCs, he, yeah, he, gra like, I mean, it is sort of a grab if you look at the passive, like, uh, off the second one. You can see that, um, he cues Morgana, and then he grabs him towards him a little bit, which is pretty interesting nonetheless, but, yeah. Hmm. And then here's his uh, splash art for just his original skin. It's actually a pretty nice uh, splash art. And then you got the, um, I'm not exactly sure what this skin is. Um, I don't really play Swain too much. Never really have. Just because he's, you know, an outdated champion that's finally getting reworked. Even though it just happened out of nowhere for me. Like, I didn't, I didn't think he'd be next or anything. And then his pirate skin. It's looking pretty nice. I like how it's like pink colored kind of. I wonder if these all have different uh, particle effects. I'm sure they do. 
And then, of course, his uh, legendary skin. I'm pretty sure. Which is weird, because Galio has a, a, a themed skin like this, like with the green and the armor. It's kind of, you know, the same kind of themed. I've always kind of thought that for some reason. And also the, uh, there's another, there's another skin that I'm trying to think of, but I can't at the moment. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, well, this Swain, tell, tell me what you guys think about this, this new Swain. Honestly, like, it's kind of hit or miss for me, but I, I think I'll, I'll enjoy it while it is. It's, it's just, old Swain was pretty old, so this, this might give him what he needs, you know? Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.